So guys, hello guys. So in this video we're gonna look at uh, a problem which is can be solved by a loop. So let's have a look. So it says uh, write some code to read characters until the blank is read. So the here basically we are gonna take some input until the black comes and a blank or a space is given as input it's gonna turn into the program all right it's quite same as we did in the last last problem so let's read the code so you first let the second input of h into one so now we're gonna use some level so we're not here going to use loops because we don't know how many uh, input we're taking so say 21 each so how many times it's gonna now compare al so if you take some input go into al with uh, a blank if it's equal to it's gonna just exit just exit so so we better use another demonstration. If not equal to, it's gonna keep taking the input. So, so now you've been able to take inputs as many times as you want. If it is blank, then we're gonna it's gonna exit. So we take inputs. If we give a space, it's gonna exit, and that's how we can use. You can also use. Uh, you can count it move let's say bl equal to zero we're gonna use this as a counter so in bl so here this can print the value of bl here and move h into two and uh, bl 48 okay 48 Move the hello appeal into DL. Now bring 21H. 21H. Okay. So now as many input as you want whenever you oh, for this piece is gonna exit. So is it a problem? It's showing the correct results. So the basically here we are printing just one digit up to one digit. If uh, the input is line is between zero to nine, we're gonna show that it's nine input. But if it is ten, it is not possible to show this code. You're gonna modify this code. So I have shown you previous videos how you can print double digit numbers uh, in multiplication and division digits. So you can just follow that and print. So you wanna say another example? So, so right, A L D F G, print the space, and it's gonna show that how uh, they we have taken six inputs. So that's how uh, the we can solve this problem using jump instruction without loops. So I, I hope that you have uh, have a clear view how why we're not using loops here because you don't know how many inputs we're gonna take in. So that's the basic idea behind this. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.